I like to use a chimney when I start my fires out here. It just makes it easier to control. But yeah, who cares? <laughs> you know why the hell you use a chimney starter. I'm not here telling you what the hell I'm doing or how to barbecue. Barbecue the way you want to. Make sure you add your water. Uh, I can already smell the smoke starting to come up. Oh, that's my favorite thing. It's a very exciting, exciting smell. To catch my drippings. Now, we got to let it get up to temperature before we can put the meat on. I know you can't see me. It's because I'm black and it's dark outside. Oh, night vision. Is it, you can see me, can you? You can see me. <laughs> night, night vision. Now you can see the black guy. You can see the black guy in the night vision. All right, look at that. The temperature is right there up about 250. I'm going to close the grates down a little bit more to get the temperature to drop a little bit more. I wanted more down by the 225, but it's been sitting there for a while. So I think it's ready for me to go ahead and slap that beef up on here. Let's grab that meat. right now we got the we got the meat on the smoker and it's 10 30 at night i'm gonna come back out here in about four hours to um maybe give it a little bit more fuel and uh give it a couple little spritz of some apple juice some vinegar a little worcestershire some of that just to keep it all nice and beautiful and juicy but i would check on about four hours give it some more some more love and uh, I'll see you guys then. Unfortunately, it was raining all night long. It's 4 a.m. right now. I actually let it stay on from 10.30 to 4 a.m. without ever touching it or even looking at it. And look at the temperature right there. Perfect. Sitting perfect right in the middle. Oh my goodness. I got my spray bottle out here. I need to get rid of this. There it goes. All right, let's take a look so far. Oh. Look at that. Maybe I can come out for the night vision. Oh. This is just some apple cider vinegar and some apple juice. Just going on there, give it a good cup. But so far, that's beautiful for that amount of cook time. There you go, about 10 hours in. This is a beef shoulder claw. Look at it, it has some of the juices that naturally collected underneath it. 
That's all its juices that I let collect there. It's going to go right back in there again for another couple hours. I'm going to just wrap it in some aluminum foil, let it steam, let it get juicy. I'm going to add some more beef juice to it, and then we're going to eat it. back in, it's covered, it's panned, gonna let it steam up, get juicy, what is it, uh, it's almost 7.30 in the morning, keep it in there till about almost noon, that's gonna give it a, just a, ah, uh, just a, ah, uh, you'll see, you'll see. 14 hours in, 14 hours later, I'm tired, smell like smoke, but look at this beef shoulder clod right there this is what you get 14 hours in the smoke oh my goodness look at that I want to try that so bad out of brisket moves? no you use a shoulder clod very much the consistency of pulled pork. Look at that right there. You can just take it. Oh. And just pull it apart just like that. So now I have to do a taste test. And for the taste test, I have a special guest with me. I'm talking about the breaker of chains, the mother of dragons herself, first of her name, the rightful queen of the Andals, Khaleesi herself, right there. There you go, baby. Say hi. Say hi. You don't want to smile, Khaleesi? You want to? Uh, you want to say hi? You want to eat? Yeah, you want to eat? Want some food? All right, we're going to get you some. One of the things you got to remember, too, when it comes to meat is you don't want your meat to dry out. So you don't want to pull the whole thing at one time. You really just want to get the pieces that you're going to eat. Let's say we're going to eat this much right here. Look at that. Oh, look at that steam rising up out of it. Oh, look at that just coming apart right there. Look at that pulled beef. Just that simple right there. Good beef. Oh. Look at that. Now our Khaleesi mother of dragons, breaker of chains. She loves the barbecue meat. Matter of fact, let me cover this because you don't want it to lose any of its heat. I let this rest. Actually, I took it off the smoker. And it rests for about an hour, 20 minutes already. Oh, look, she's already eating it. No sauce. We no sauce. You eating it. That's a barbecue baby right there. You want some barbecue sauce? Yeah, yeah you do? Yeah, that. Let's put some sauce on there. 
Let's see, dude. Let's get, get it. Let's get some crackers. One thing I learned in Texas, a good cracker with a good piece of beef. Where is that? Oh, I'm going to enjoy a piece too. Look at that. Mmm. Cracker, yeah. Mmm. That's good. You just need barbecue sauce and crackers now? Well, that's all, guys, for, um, me barbecuing this, I'm working on vlogs. This is the first vlog I ever shot. So, it was pretty fun. Do a lot more barbecue, there's a lot more things going on in my life that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys pretty soon. I'm doing a lot more of this, I'm gonna be moving cross country, so we're gonna vlog all of that. I'm uh, gonna be going back to doing stand-up comedy full time pretty soon, so. Don't forget my barbecue from my Buffet Jackson sandwich shop. Food truck located, coming soon to where I'm moving. Should we tell people to subscribe? Are we back? Are we back to making videos? No? Yeah? No? We are. Subscribe, people. Peace.